and welcome to another edition of Old Max Nuggets, O'Brien's heating and air conditioning podcast where we talk about common questions that a homeowner might have about their heating and air conditioning system. My name is Brooklyn and I am here with Brian Nakarada, the owner and president of Brian's Heating and Air Conditioning. How are you doing today? Well, another fantastic day, Brooklyn. How about yourself? Yeah, I was going to say fantastic as well. All righty. Well, what's on your mind today? Well, I have a question about sear ear and sear to and ear to. Okay. What's the difference? All right. Well, uh, for years, air conditioners were rated in what we call sear rating. That is S-E-E-R. And they also had an efficiency rating of E-E-R. And uh, what SEER stands for is Seasonal Energy Efficiency Ratio, and EER is Energy Efficiency Rating. So what's the difference between SEER and EER or EER? Well, Seasonal Energy Efficiency Ratio is a rating system where we the amount of wattage that is required to produce the BTUs of cooling is done at different outdoor temperatures. So in other words, over a span of a summer where we see a lot of different temperatures, how efficient is my unit? So the testing that's done for that, and all all the manufacturers have to certify their results uh, to show that they are in compliance with the uh, efficiency ratings of their units. But uh, So the testing for the SEER is done at, at different outdoor temperatures. When it comes to EER, that is at one outdoor temperature, and that is 95 degrees. So when it's 95 degrees out, how efficient is my unit? Over the years, we've seen units that had a high SEER rating because they were very efficient when it was 70 or 75 outside, but maybe not as efficient when it got hotter but because of the sear and the sliding scale of doing this over a wide range of temperatures um, it still had a high sear rating value to it and um, then in January of 2023 we had a change that uh, the government is now rating these units in sear 2 and ear 2 and the biggest difference between that is that Most of the duct systems in the United States, and I hate to say this, but most of the duct systems are inadequate. Don't have enough supply duct work, don't have enough return duct work. And so what happens is we have an increased external static pressure in our duct systems. And so the manufacturers now have to change the way that they rate them because with the SEER rating and the EAR rating, it wasn't realistic because most systems are not good. So now they actually rate them for SEER 2 and EAR 2 at a higher external static pressure. So that's where the difference comes into play. Now what ended up happening was let's say for example we had a 20 SEER unit and now it's just re-rated and it might be an 18 SEER 2. Still the same unit but it used to be a 20 SEER now it's an 18 SEER 2. And uh, some of the lower end efficiency models are actually gone now uh, because they don't meet the SEER 2 or the EAR 2 criteria. And so a lot of manufacturers are retooling. Ream actually did this last year to where they retooled a lot of their uh, lower end and mid range efficiency models to meet the new government requirements. Their top end models already met them, they just had to be retested and basically rebadged as a little bit lower SEER rating. So, when it comes to the efficiency ratings, that's the big difference between SEER and SEER 2, EAR and EAR 2. Did you catch any of that? Hey, Brooklyn, before we get out of here today, did I ever tell you about the time when I was addicted to the hokey pokey? <laughs> no. But I turned myself around. Until next time, this is Old Nack. Have a great day.